Well, good morning. It's Monday morning. Um, we trust that each one of you have had a good week. Uh, last week, of course, the ice storm, and so <laughs> most of us uh, were able to work our way through that. Hope you had electricity or heat, different things yeah, like they that. They didn't so, lose a bunch of trees like we did. Yeah, <laughs> boy, our street, you can just see, it looks it's like just, a tornado has come yeah, through there, does, so praise really God. Does. Well, today the title of our devotion is called Waiting on the Lord to Make the Right Decisions. And, you know, this is something, Marcia, that all of us deal with in our lives because we're constantly making decisions. But really, I'm talking about big decisions in our life, yes. you know, and really um, not making them on the spur of the moment. Many times I find that when I've made a bad decision, it's because I felt rushed to make that decision, you know, things like that instead so of really waiting So many times those decisions are made by mm -hmm. the circumstances rather than the peace of God. Right, exactly. There's a scripture in Acts chapter 1 verse um, 7 and 8 and it's about, um, it's about after um, 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 Judas has gone away and now there's 11 disciples and and you know they're waiting on you know Jesus is in the ground and so he hasn't raised you been raised yet and so Peter he's the kind of guy let's do something let's do something and so they jump ahead really of the Lord it says it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the father has fixed by his own authority but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the inner uttermost parts of the world. And so really they had not even been filled with the Holy Spirit yet. You know, we know the impartation of the Holy Spirit is to lead us and guide us into making right decisions to know the truth. So they jump ahead. There's a, a, there's a saying that uh, we like to say, or I say all the time, is he that believeth God maketh not haste. And really, if you can't step back from a major decision and really take some time to pray over that thing, uh, you're, you're more than likely going to make a bad decision, you know, and something that afterwards you're going to look back and, and wish that you have, hadn't made. That's Amen. right. Well, you know, when the disciples did that, you know they were just trying to keep it going. Yeah. And that's what we do. We get in the flesh and we do things. We try to, and, and they're not. It's not bad flesh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've just got to keep this going for God. You know, we can't mm. let this thing go because Jesus told, left it in our hands. You know, and yeah. you can see why they would feel like that. Sure, and they're they're and, uh, uh, they're at a place where they're they're kind of in disarray actually. That's right. You know, and we've all been. And in we've disarray. all been there. You know, yeah. where it seems like the one who has led us is now not there or right. you know we just don't know which direction or some some big decision i mean you brought your family maybe you yeah. gotta make yeah and, and you know the decision they made here with mathis uh choosing him as to replace judas um, you can't say that's right or that's wrong but they really should have waited upon the lord yes. to make that decision now that's mathis right. did go matthias did go on and make um, great strides in the well, kingdom yeah, of sure God. Well, I'm sure he's a great like, man yeah, of yeah, God, yeah, yeah. But, but, but that's not necessarily who God wanted in there. Right, right. sometimes we um, choose the uh, the good instead of the best, that's you know, right. and that's so right. that's really what we're talking about today is really making, uh, waiting on the Lord, taking some time to prayer. If you're in a marriage, you need to always come in agreement over a situation. Circumstance. There's not a major thing that Pastor Marsha and I do that we don't uh, stop, stop and pray. We're going to we're going to step back, really look at this thing from 360 degrees if we can. And but you know what? It ain't always been like that. No, it hasn't always it been hasn't like always that. When we were first young and made a lot of mistakes, you know, because oh, we would get, oh, we got to take care of this, got to get this done, you know. Well, you and, know that scripture, and, though, and forgetting those things which are behind you. Though. Yes, you're supposed to, but, but you know, sometimes it's important to remember uh, how far God has brought you. Oh, yes. How far amen. He's brought you. And He wants us to use the gifts of the, of the Holy Spirit inside of us to make our decisions and, and to discuss it and not be in a hurry. Yeah. I think as a young person, that's why you you do make haste sometimes. Right. But I know people my age still make haste and they end up having to live out the yeah. consequences yeah. of those decisions. Yeah. Well, you know, the, again, we go back to Deuteronomy. It says, I'll lay before your life and death, blessing, and cursing. You choose. So every one of us get to choose the decisions that we make. 
but then we must be willing to live with the consequences That's of right. the choices That's that right. we do make. So, you know, we just want to encourage you, Pastor Marshall and I want to encourage you that before you make any big decisions in your life, that you really step back and pray. And really, if you have someone that's a prayer partner of yours or someone you can go to, have them pray over that with you. You know, just making the right decisions. Right. We want to make the right decisions. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Praise God. Well, God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day today.